Hey guys, so I'm doing a get ready with me video because I was watching my old videos of that and I was like, let's do it again. So I'm going to start with my foundation. My go-to right now is the Dior. I have a review for that if you were wondering about it. This is the color 2WO and I'm using this brush that I recently got for this foundation and it is amazing. You can find it at Ulta because it is an IT brush for Ulta and you can check out the links below for that. And oh my gosh, I love how this contours your face because it's triangular shape and ooh, ooh, I just love it. So yeah, as you can see, I always start in the middle where my redness are always more apparent and then I just kind of dab it all over the place after that. And like always, this concealer brush is amazing for the nose area, like the T-zone area. And that is, again, a IT brush for Ulta. It's just very reliable and it lasts super long. And next, I am going to color correct. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury, oh, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Vanish with an eyeliner brush that I got a long time ago. I forgot what it is, but it's just amazing for spot concealing. And I'm going to use my finger with the color corrector and just try my best to put it under my eyes. And I'm going to use my Hourglass Concealer. This is in the color Fawn. And I do it one side at a time because it does dry pretty fast. I really, really like this concealer. Um, the less you use, the best it looks. You know. And whatever is left on my concealer brush, I apply on my eyelids as my eye primer for later on. Hourglass recommends you to just do three dots or whatever lines. And not to use too much because if you use too much, it can look cakey. And I believe a lot of people don't like it because they put too much. So less is better, you guys. And for my uh, dark blemishes, I'm going to go with my Magic Away Concealer in 5.5 with my eyeliner brush, which is my concealing brush. And it is awesome for that. And I just dab it in my finger afterwards. Next, I am going to contour with my Charlotte Tilbury contour one and I have the light medium shade because I believe it is such a good ashy color but not so ashy that I look frozen you know but yeah I just love it this is so easy Woo! and I just use my Shikohodo um, contouring brush and I just kind of stipple it in and try my best not to be so crazy with it but I'm pretty sure I was going crazy with it and especially it looks crazy with this speed you know but yeah as you can see it is a very 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 nice color and I am super in love with it and for winter I noticed I have been using cream products ever since it got really super freezing here up in Washington and I love how contouring just makes me look a little bit skinnier <laughs> I am not very good at contouring my nose so I'm just gonna use this brush to slightly contour and I feel like I also messed it up because you can see it on the other side and not exactly on this side that I'm doing right now and I'm just like ew Ugh. let's fix that with this concealer brush <laughs> and that helped out majorly this is why I love that brush and next is highlighting this is CT's highlighting wand in the color spotlight this is uh, described as a rose gold with a silver sparkle and I really like it I want to call this like you like anybody can wear it because I don't know it's like a nice champagne color too in my opinion and this Ilya blush is so pretty this is a ladybird shade which is like a rosy and it's so easy because I just swirl it with my finger and tap it on my cheek which I think these products just would be amazing for travel and that just reminds me I want to go on a trip <gasps> and yep so on the other side I just use my one finger I think you could probably use it with a beauty blender, but I don't know. Fingers just work best. Done. Next are eyebrows. So this thing is new. Glossier. I am so scared to use this. I mean, I was so scared. You can see it in these clips. I got 
the color brown for both and this brow flick it looks cool but let's start with this um, gel first I wanted to see how my brows would like with just a gel but um, as obviously it's not enough so I'm gonna go in with my a brow flick this thing intimidates me like no other I was so scared because I feel like I have a heavy hand actually no no I don't but like I don't know so I tried my best to have a super duper light hand and it's supposed to mimic like hair strokes and I think I did okay and you know this these clips are sped up twice like 200% and some of them are like 400% but yeah in the front area I am not used to having like a dark a shade for my inner eyebrow and I was wondering if if using the blonde color would be okay I just hope that it's like a taupe color I crack myself up it's just like I try my best to do my brows and try to make it look natural as possible but I have no clue how it's supposed to look like just as long as it looks natural it should be okay but I think it looks good right it doesn't look that much crazier next to my other eyebrow which has more hair than the eyebrow that I just did and yeah so I think the trick with this is not to use the gel brow beforehand I don't know maybe you can but like for me it was just a little bit hard so I guess you can I just need more practice let's just be honest and call it what it is I just need to get used to it and practice more with the brow flick so yeah, I think I am going to try out the lightest color for the inner eyebrow because man, I had to brush that thing out with my eyebrow spoolie <laughs> to try to make it look a faded. But yeah, I think I did my best and I think it looks good, don't you think? Alright, now I felt like I needed to conceal or to make it look sharper, I guess. I went with my hourglass concealer to try and make it look all perfect not perfect and then I added more stuff for my eye primer but yeah what do you guys think good bad I don't know next I am gonna use my newest Viseart Perrier edit eyeshadow palette so I got this and then it was broken like my favorite shade that I wanted to try was broken so I tried to fix it with a Dora line and you know what I think it worked and I also moved everything around to make it look more awesome so let's start with this color this color is called petal I'm just kind of lightly setting the concealer I put earlier and then I um, kind of put it all over the lid and all the way to the brow bone next I am using the color creme brulee and I'm using this as my transition color I love this shade like it kind of looks dark I mean light on the pan but I think it looks fine when you put it on the lid like you can see it and then next I'm gonna use the color fleur with my Charlotte Tilbury eye blender blush and this is placed slightly lower than the transition color I used earlier and I love this color it is such a pretty mauve and it's like a true mauve too not too pink not too purple it just has a great mixture of both and next I am using the color cherries for the outer V to make mm, my eyes look more bomb you know like give me some darkness up in there and this color is like I thought it was gonna look maroon like super maroon but it's more like a nice plummy color I really like this like they pick really good colors in this palette and I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this like a everyday daytime palette because it just looks so good and I'm just blending everything with that brush and finally, I am mixing a fleur and a cerise with this pencil brush from Shikohodo. And finally, I'm using a shimmer color. Ooh, this shimmer color is gorgeous. This is called Tuileries. Wait, how do you say it? Tuileries. 
and it's a nice a purple shade which is just so pretty I love this I remember using purples a lot before and for some reason I just stopped buying them and then I just realized that I really like purples and I think it's because with brown eyes I think it looks good with brown eyes you know and I applied that mostly like everywhere on my lid and I'm gonna use the rose gold color that broke when it arrived and I believe that is called pirouette and it is a really 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 pretty color so I used Duraline to fix it and it did help as you can see there is still color payoff and I think like even Duraline changes the consistency to be like a waterproof version of it I have no clue but I was just like dang this thing is bland and I used my shader brush again from Refer number two I believe just to make everything look blended and I'm using the refer pencil brush I have no idea what the numbers are oh it's not even a refer it's a Shikuhodo pencil brush <laughs> I will have everything down below for you guys I applied that in the inner corner and for my brow bone so this highlighting shade I thought was just like a normal champagne -y color that you probably have everywhere else in your palette but it has like a yellow tinged to it you know you know how like champagne is like pearly but this has like a yellow tone to it I don't know if you can see in the video but in in real life you can see it see woo girl that shimmer popper shade looks amazing it's just blinging off of this screen right now and I am using Stila Micro Tip Liquid Liner. This is so awesome if you have Asian eyes and you don't really have a lot of like lid space. And this micro tip, it really is a micro tip. It is so awesome. I really like it. I've been using this for years and I still use it. And this is the look oh wait it's not done yet I am gonna put some falsies this is my favorite uh, false lashes as of yet these are Ardell naked lashes and I'm using the number 421 with the house of lashes glue I love this glue because it does not have latex and I trust it it never makes my eyes itchy and I'm using a tweezer to apply it because I feel like it's easier to apply it with the tweezer and yeah oh my gosh so I gotta tell you this naked lashes the band is so thin and it's so flexible I am not all that great putting these lashes but this helps so much and when the do the glue dries I also get my Stila eyeliner again to go over the glue because sometimes it dries white or green tint tint clear thing and yeah and sometimes i can still see it so yeah i just do that and then the last step for the mm, false lashes is of course mascara i have no favorite mascaras like i feel like all of them are the same and i usually don't do this but i feel like i should <laughs> I have no idea so before I put on my lip liner and my lipstick I'm gonna dab off the extra gloss that I had on my lips from the beginning oh and if you're wondering that was a Dior lip glow oil and rosewood by the way this lip liner is pillow talk medium by Charlotte Tilbury she has my favorite brand lipsticks they are just so comfortable on the lips they look luscious <laughs> and the lipstick is the same shade such a nice mauvey pinky shade and it matches my eyeshadow shades and I felt like I needed more blush so I'm adding the same ladybird and I feel like I'm good now all right I think that is it I am very happy with the outcome what do you guys think oh Morphe it Let's use this finishing spray continuous setting mist. Dang, that's a lot. Woo. Well, I need it to last all day and here it is. Finally, I am done. I am in love with this. This palette is amazing. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.